Purple Poncho. I'm Carolyn and today I'm going to demonstrate how to join as you go and you will be completing a final round on your granny square and at the same time connecting it over to the next square. You'll have a one-sided join and then you'll also have some squares that have a two-sided join. So let's get started. Today I'll be using a size H crochet hook or 5 millimeter. You'll also need a pair of scissors and the yarn that I'm using right now is Red Heart Super Saver and the color is light gray. So I have four squares here that I'll be joining together. The first square that we're going to use uh, we just complete round five as we have done for rounds uh, two through four. Okay, so this is just a repeat of following the sequence in rounds two through four, only on one square. So one square, we're going to complete all the way around and end off our yarn, and that will be our first adjacent square. So to do that, we're going to slip stitch. This is just a repeat of the last video and I will link that for you to see as well. So we're going to chain three and two doubles in the same corner space. And then skipping three stitches and just jumping over to this next space, we're going to put three doubles. And again, skipping over to the next space, three doubles. Repeat one more time. Three doubles in the next space. Now we're at the corner. We're going to put three doubles. And now we're going to chain three here. One, two, three. That is a difference from the previous rows. We have chain two in between. We're going to chain three this time. And then three doubles in the same corner space. So we're going to repeat that same sequence that we just did on the other three corners. And I'll meet you back over here. I'm at the beginning corner and I'm going to finish the round with three doubles in the same corner space. Chain three and slip stitch to the top of my beginning chain three. And end off your yarn. So I've completed round five on one square all the way around. So to connect my next square, I'm going to be using this square and it's going to be my adjacent square. So I'm going to cut my yarn a little bit so my tail's not quite that long. Okay, so here's my adjacent square. So to begin round five on my next square next square. I'm going to start it a little bit differently. So the rest of the squares are going to be made or started this way. Okay, so you can start in any chain two corner space. And we're going to start by making the three doubles and then the chain and then three doubles. Whereas before we were doing three doubles in the corner and then going around and making our corner here and then finishing our corner at the end. We're going to finish our corner at the same time right now. So chain three, two more doubles, one, two, and I'm going to chain one. 
So I'm going to pick up my adjacent square and I'm going to look at my stitches here and I want the wrong side here, these are the wrong side of my stitches, to be facing me and I want the right side of my stitches on my current square to be facing me. Or another way you can look at it is the wrong sides are facing each other or the right sides are both facing out. There's, I've seen it said different ways so whichever way that makes sense for you I hope that helps. Okay so I have a chain one on my current square. This is my current square and this is my adjacent square. So I put them together like a sandwich. I have chain one and then any corner space you want to start with on your adjacent square is fine. And we're going to count to that third chain over here on the adjacent square, or excuse me, second chain. So there's three chains here. There's one, two, three, and we're going to go in the second chain. So just go through the chain and slip stitch right there, and then chain one. And we're just going to let that adjacent square kind of hang there. And I'm going to come back to my current corner and make three doubles to finish my corner. One, two, three. So I've just connected my corners with that slip stitch. And the way the count works is there's a chain one, a slip stitch, and a chain one. So it gives the illusion of three chains on our current square to match the three chains on the adjacent square. Now to connect the side, I just finished my corner here and then going to your adjacent square we're going to skip these first three corner double crochets and we're going to go right into that space and we're going to slip stitch there and then yarn over and come back to your current square and we're going to make the three doubles on our current square. So there's one, two, three. And we're going to repeat this across. So now go back to the adjacent square, skip three stitches, st uh, skip your three doubles on that side, go right into the space. We're not going into that top stitch. Just right into the space and slip stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Then yarn over, come back to the current square and put three doubles in that next space. So we're skipping three stitches on this side and going right into that space. So there's one, two, three. Again, going back, skip three on the adjacent, slip stitch in the space to connect it. And come back to your current square, skip three stitches and three doubles in that next space. There's two and three. And again, we're going to slip stitch to the adjacent square in that next space. And now we're at our corner again. So we're going to put our three doubles in our current square. One, two, three, and again we're going to repeat our corner. So we're going to chain one, go to our adjacent corner, go to that second chain, should be at the center of that chain, three. So there's one, two, three. I'm going to slip stitch right there, yarn over and pull through, chain one, yarn over, we're going to drop our adjacent square now and we're going to put three doubles 
in our corner to finish the corner on our current square. Now we've just connected one side. Isn't that neat? And we have right side facing on both of our squares. So that's how it looks. And there was no chains in between. I just did a slip stitch here in the centers to join the spaces. Now there's lots of variations you can do with this stitch or with joining. And this is how I did the blanket, the granny square blanket. Okay, so now we're just going to finish our round as usual, but in the corners we're going to put the chain three on this final round. And that way we will have a center point in the corners to add that slip stitch to join them together at the corner. So that's why I did that. So we're going to do three in the corner. and then chain three, and then three more doubles in the same corner to complete that corner stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat now, the same as before, like I just did, all the way around until we get back to this beginning edge. Next, we will join one side over here and to this corner and then continue around as we had done before on this square. But I'm going to show you this side and show you how to get, join this corner here since we already have a corner, two corners together. So let me just show you this real quick. It's still a one-sided join, so we're going to make a slip knot and start your corner, chain three, two doubles, and chain one. So I'm going to pick up my work, my adjacent square, and the wrong sides facing, wrong side facing each other, right sides are facing out, Make a sandwich, and then I'm going to go to my adjacent square, count to that second chain, slip stitch to there, and I am going into the chain. Okay, and then chain one, and that's going to keep your your join join in the center stationary. If you just put it inside this space your squares and your blanket could shift around. So that's why I do that. I mean it's not going to shift around a lot, but I just prefer, it's a personal preference I guess, to put it in that chain. Okay, so finish that corner. Find my corner over here and go into that space right after that. Those three doubles on the adjacent square. Yarn over, come back to my current square. So all of this is the same. It's always going to be the same as this. Joining back and forth on the sides. So I already slip stitched right here, so I'm going to go to the next one. Make sure, yep. Okay, come back down. Three doubles. Slip stitch in the next space on the adjacent square. Come back down. Three doubles. Go to my adjacent square. Skip three. And I'm right before my corner here, which is where I want to be. So now come back down to my current corner, make my first three doubles. Chain one. Now 
find my corners. So I have two corners already connected. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> look at my corners. There's one on this on my right side and there's one on the left. And you can see that um, space where or that stitch that I joined last time. You want to look for that that space or that stitch and join in that same one. So slip stitch there. It's going to make like a little a little center um, focal point. Then chain one and then come back to your current square and since we're only joining one side we're just gonna well we're gonna finish our corner first so there's three two and three okay and now we're just gonna continue down working on our current square which is the one on my left and I've got three squares joined we join down here at the beginning we join to the center here, right there, and now we're going to continue as we have before all the way around this square end off. And then my next square I will show you how to join two sides. So I will, I will show you that next. I'm back at my beginning, chain three, slip stitch to the top of that chain three. And we're going to end up our yarn. And we're done joining this third square. So next I will show you, we're going to join starting down here in the corner over here and then we're going to finish the other two sides. So make a slip stitch or a slip knot. And I'm going to start in the corner with my chain 3 and 2 doubles. Chain 1. I'm going to pick up my work with the wrong side and the wrong side together like a sandwich. Right side facing, right side facing on the out, facing out. And then slip stitch to the second chain, chain one. Come down to your current square. And three doubles. And going to my adjacent square. Looking at my corner. Skip those three. And go in the next space. And slip stitch. This is the same as doing a one-sided join because we're joining our first side. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this off camera and I will meet you back at the corner. So here's how it's looking. I'm ready to join my corner over here in that, in that one circle spot that I showed you before. And then we're going to join along this edge as well. So to do that, I slip stitched into my adjacent space and now I'm going to start my corner on my current square and do my three doubles. Chain one. And then coming over and I'm looking at the wrong side here. I've got the three squares all joining together right here in this center hole. And I'm going to join right there. So insert your hook and slip stitch. And then chain one. 
and then come back to your current square. Finish your corner with the three doubles. Okay, so we've joined the corner now. All four squares. And then we're going to fold your current square to the next adjacent square. So before we were connecting from here to here, back and forth, we've connected the corner and now we're right here. We're going to fold it this way and connect this last side. And it's the same connecting technique as before. So I finished my corner and then now on my next adjacent square, skip three or skip that last section of the corner on the adjacent square, go into that space and slip stitch and then come back down and three doubles. Connect to the adjacent square and three doubles on the current square. And we're going to connect one more corner here on the end, just like before. Slip stitch, and now we're at the corner and the corner. So we're going to start with three doubles in our corner, current corner. Chain one. Slip stitch to the second chain. Oops. One, two, and then three on the other side. Slip stitch to that second chain. Chain one. Finish our corner. And now we've connected the other side. So here's how it's looking. So we started down here, going up and across, and now we're going to come down and finish the other two sides. So it's the same as round five, three doubles in each space, in the corner, three doubles, chain three, three doubles, and then slip stitch, go across, three doubles in each space, and then slip stitch to the beginning, chain three. I'm back at the beginning corner. We're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three, end off your yarn. And now we've completed the two sides. And here's how the corner join looks here in the middle. Isn't that pretty? It's easier to see in this color than on my blanket. But the blanket is made, the join is the same exact as this. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to join as you go for the granny square blanket. This technique can be used joining squares on any type of square uh, that, that you have. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe so you'll be notified of new videos as they are uploaded. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here and crocheting with me today and I hope you have a wonderful day.